Hi, my name is Kev Kiernan. This is a poem about the pandemic. It's called Widescreen Ode to COVID-19. Virus smash and grab made off with age-old scab. The lockdown exposed an already open wound. Magnitude of faulty system unravelling. It broke the habits to which we'd become attuned. Ineptitude of paltry politicians is dazzling. Covid-19 transmissions surge. But from the woodwork, good folk emerge with their shells ripped off or overturned, revealing better versions of their personality. Rat race, stewards inquiry gets adjourned and we vocally practice solidarity. Trying to be active locally amid the madness not just the usual passive donations to charity. Alternative is far less hectic. But all this death brings sadness. Another way of doing things was always suspected. Outbreaks around planet's circumference. Visiting entire populations. Who witness some difference. Escaping a daily grind and its blinding strangulation. En masse, it's discovered we never had to live so fast. Those in charge calibrate a bile discharge in sickening disarray with their constipated response. Since December 2019, virus circulates but their dismembered competence doesn't correspond. Johnson tells lies as he testiculates. Sturgeon's earnestly tepid. Both got busy filling pockets of bosses. Both pickpocket NHS staff counting their losses. So-called leaders clapped for the front line. But upon occasion to pay them back, they slapped them away from the gold mine. Victims, disproportionately Asian or black. Something sinister is afoot with racism syndrome. And why say First Minister's done a good job? Ask a pensioner in a privatised don't care home. I wouldn't be surprised if they formed an angry mob. Johnson and Sturgeon made the schools go back forcing teachers to take up the slack. Then jam-packed students into campus halls, made them pay rent. Now won't even answer the calls. They know coronavirus thrives in cramped space. But what I want to know is this. Why did they take so long to act in the first place? Stupid leaders had time aplenty. That's why it's not called COVID-20. So, a virus turns up and production halts. World order suspends belief. Many working from home is the new default. Big bosses intend it to be brief as their mode is a mild form of panic. But workers learn a new dynamic. Some get thrown onto unemployment inferno. Others survive on the ointment of furlough. But imagination is arousing. Lots more time to think. Washing hands and housing estate sinks. It's a far cry from a general strike. But economy stopped by itself. Whole industries stunted as infections spike. 
Capitalism no longer even pretends to look good. Its neoliberalism was designed as the saviour. Make sure they don't blame this pandemic because their system already was a massive failure. Pick your side in this fight to the death polemic. Decades of mechanised farming and commodified wildlife has forced animals to trade humans their plant life. Palm oil plantations keep sucking up the bats. And we'd only just got used to racing rats. Land incursions create incubator for disease. Because where else do bats go when we burn their trees? What will happen next with the climate and the bees? Scorched earth, melted ice, overflowing seas leaving us in tears and rains of floods. While today, COVID-19 kills in cold blood. Government deficiency is a dull thud. Politicians desperate to hide the fact they are all just deadly duds. They could have saved a bit of face with a proper regime of test and trace, but they don't care enough to keep pace. They just blame the working class for not staying in place. Some of us already found life tough, often having to bluff to survive. We're still worried enough, even though we're still alive. Distortions of societal game of chess make it harder to just say hello. Poor support hollows out mental distress. Tsunami overwhelms anxiety. Some of us are running out of ammo. The shock of this public health catastrophe can also give way to conspiracy talk, which only disempowers. It encourages apathy at our sour expense. Government restrictions hardly make sense. Poor justification causes clarity atrophy. It leads to sincere paranoia. Some folks sneer about COVID hoax, which is annoying. It shouldn't be the subject of jokes. People are dying on ventilators. What secret plot or conspiracy theory wisdom makes bodies fill up mobile refrigerators? But many folks' faith in the system is already done and dusted. How do ordinary people fight a virus if governments can't be trusted? Let's organise together our solidified class. Beat back intrepid tide of incompetence overwhelming this decrepit top brass. Bring forth our unrealised confidence. And really, what remains is the only actual solution. Create the labour pains of international revolution.